ABC 3340 News starts now with breaking news. Right now, we are following the breaking news out of Paris. Here's the latest. More than 100 people are believed to be dead after six coordinated attacks around the French capital. The sites of the attacks include a stadium where a soccer match was going on with the French president and a spectator. Uh, several uh, restaurants and concert halls were more than 100 were held hostage there. And right now, the borders of France are closed. And French President Francois Hollande has declared a state of emergency. Now, this is being called one of the deadliest attacks in Paris since World War II. Right now, authorities believe that all of the attackers are dead, all eight. And right now, our focus here at home is on stadium security. These are live pictures from Auburn University and Mississippi State in Starkville, where two big games will be played tomorrow. Now, are these targets uh, for terrorists, are these places safe? ABC 3340's Benton Blandin is working for you and taking a much closer look at the security measures to keep these so-called soft targets secure. Well, whether you're going to the Alabama-Mississippi State game, the Georgia-Auburn game, or even a local theater, security experts say do not panic. I spoke with a man behind a lot of big productions at sporting venues all over the state, and I also talked with the Birmingham man who was inside that stadium in Paris during the attack. Stephen DeVries lives in Birmingham, but FaceTime with ABC 3340 from Paris, France. He was wrapping up a week of photo shoots for vendors. His latest assignment was at the soccer game between France and Germany where he heard the booms. We heard three of them, or two distinct ones at the beginning, um, early in the game, back to back, and we just assumed that it was some sort of firework or cannon or something celebrating the game. He would have. The Birmingham photographer did not learn until later what happened. Actually, a long, long time later, they, they I, I would assume, purposefully didn't let us know in the stadium because they didn't want people to panic. So they let the game continue continue all the way to the very end before actually announcing. Thousands packed the stadium along with DeVries. Thousands also packed stadiums here at home. Fans should rest easy, uh, be confident that everyone is doing all they can and many, many resources are being devoted to making sure that large sporting venues are safe and secure. Gene Holman runs a company known for decades of producing big sporting events. He recalls 9-11 changing the way venues work to keep people safe. The security measures put in place post 9-11 have remained in place and could possibly be increased for the foreseeable future after what happened today. A big concern for Alabamians might be college football stadiums all over, especially Tuscaloosa. He says Brian Danny has EMAP certification, making it one of the safest in the state. To get EMAP certified is an 18-month process whereby a university has all of its security measures closely analyzed by a third par party, including how they handle security at major sporting venues like at Bryant-Denny. We've checked with some area colleges and universities to find out if they have students in Paris. So far, only the University of Alabama provided a number. A spokesman for UA says six students studying abroad in Paris are safe. We know you might have questions about someone you know in Paris. If so, we have a number you can call. It is 1-888-407-4747. Again, the number is 1-888-407-4747. It is also on our website, abc3340.com.